Hello, my name is Chaz Tavis, I'm with Highland Tank. Today we're going to talk about the design, the performance, the operation, installation, and maintenance of automatic grease interceptors. Highland Tank manufactures several sizes of the automatic grease interceptors, from a 15 GPM to an 800 GPM. This is a configuration with pumping grease, where we can do simple skimming into side storage containers. This is the Highland Tank inlet compartment, stainless steel, flush latches for ease of maintenance. Look them up, one twist, easy removable cover. Inside there we have an integrated solids interceptor basket. This should be cleaned out daily, traps any food particles. And we have also an integrated flow control with an orifice that is sized for the rated capacity of that system. In this case here are 50 GPM. This is the grease interceptor section of the AGI, again with flush handles for ease of maintenance. This is the grease interceptor section of the AGI, like any other grease interceptors, it has a baffle and a downcomer pipe to prevent grease from going outside. The baffle will stop any turbulence inside the tank. With the AGI we have an immersion heater down below the grease blanket. The purpose is to keep any congealed grease into a liquid form that this skimmer will then take that grease and remove it at a rate of 20 pounds per hour down into this sump into a side storage container. This is an actual uh, disc skimming process of a unit actually in use. Uh, as you can see the disc skimming process, it removes at a rate of 20 pounds of grease per hour. Uh, you want to make sure you keep the, the sump and the channel clear of any obstructions. So it's recommended every couple weeks you inspect that channel to make sure there's no blockages that is coming from the wheel down the sump to the side storage container. This is the outlet of the Highland Tank AGI. In this particular case, it's fitted with a sample port. The sample port, once again, is easy flush mount latches. In this case here, the AHJ could remove a sample right here to check for affluent quality. As all interceptors, you should have a vent stack on the outlet leg of the interceptor. From the AGI, grease enters the side storage container through the sump. It is then measured using an echo pod to measure a high level of grease inside the storage container. It is stored and kept in a liquid state using an immersion heater inside the tank. It is also fitted with a mat heater underneath the tank to keep the grease in a liquid state. From this compartment, we use a pump, a gear pump, to pump the grease via a heat trace line to a remote storage tank. When pumping grease, it's important to remember uh, heat tracing the line on the outlet, as well as to make sure it's hard piped. Do not want to use any flex hosing where you'll get a low spot. The grease will congeal and cause blockages. This is our junction box. Typically we would use a knockout in the bottom of the tank to pull your wire through. But in this case here, we're bringing them through for demonstration. But as you can see, they're clearly marked what wires are being pulled from the main panel to the junction box. Our smaller AGIs use a scaled down version to stop a reach on 110. Uh, larger panels that run on 208, three phase, single phase, or 460 use our large panel. The large panels can monitor temperature, it's fitted with an audio and visual alarms. We can control either in manual or auto mode uh, the AGI heaters, the skimming process, uh, the pumping process, all via switches we can rotate from manual to automatic. This is our control panel. Power comes in in the upper right hand corner. Uh, in this case it's 208 three phase, also available in 460. It's our main disconnect. 
down below, we have terminal strips that are wired back to the junction box on the AGI. That's for the as-built drawings that are provided. In the upper left-hand corner, we have timers. These control the skimming and, and uh, heating process. It's a multi-event timers. It can be set simply by pushing in the keys to the time period you want the timers or skimmers to come on. Uh, we typically suggest you put the heating process on about an hour before your skimming to maximize the grease removal.